Welcome back. So you might remember us talking about this Palm Beach Gardens neighborhood that's dealing with a local terror to your dogs and your cats. We're talking about toxic bufo or cane toads that have just taken over some yards inside Mirabella at Mirasol Community. A toad removal company blames all the recent wet weather we've had. So in today's Ask the Vet segment, Dr. Miles Rowley from Stewart Sound Animal Hospital joins us to talk to us about how we can protect our pets from these creatures that we see out in our yards. It's something you see a lot. It is. It's actually a really common problem. It's one of the most common medical emergencies that we deal with, especially here in South Florida. We see them primarily during the hot, humid months of spring and summer, um, but it really is a year-round emergency. Um, it only takes a second for a curious dog and even a cat sometimes mm -hmm. to bite, lick, or ingest one of these toads and cause a real problem. And it's as simple as the dog licking one of them? It doesn't have to, you know, actually bite down on it? No. When the uh, toads are um, threatened, mm -hmm. they release that poison and gotcha. it just takes the smallest lick of that gland. How will you know, like what, what will happen to your dog or cat if, if they've been poisoned? So the first thing you would see uh, would be signs like hypersalivation, vomiting, restlessness and hyperexcitability and um, really red, bright red gums or mucous membranes. Those clinical signs can rapidly progress to more severe clinical signs like cardiac arrhythmias, tremors, and even full seizure activity. Is it almost immediately after they come in contact with it? It is, yes. So as a pet owner, what can you do if you think that this might have happened? So the first and most important thing is to decontaminate your pet's mouth. Um, the most common thing people reach for is a garden hose, and you want to be real careful to wash the pet's mouth from the side and not from front to back so they don't aspirate choke or choke. Right. Um, and if you don't have a hose nearby, you can always reach for a wet cloth or rag. Um, but then it's very important, imperative, that you should get to your uh, local family veterinarian or animal hospital, uh, emergency hospital, as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And once they're in um, a professional's care with their vet, how do you treat it? So the care is primarily aimed at supportive treatments, mm -hmm. um, controlling cardiac arrhythmias, controlling seizures, keeping your pet hydrated and very comfortable until this toxin has its way, uh, worked its way through your body. I know it's, you're not a toad expert, but is it all kinds of frogs or can we be on the lookout for different looking toads? It is the specific um, bufo toad uh, that's found in South Florida mm -hmm. called the marine toad. Mm -hmm. And you can tell the difference. It's not that easy, but they have these glands just behind their eyes okay. um, that set them apart from your regular uh, yeah, and I knew they're usually out in the dark, so it's kind of hard to tell. Right. Um, and uh, we hope this never happens, so how can we help prevent and protect our pets? So what we recommend is that you're very hypervigilant between the hours of dusk and dawn, especially during those spring and summer months. I would never recommend walking your pet off a leash in the dark or at night so that you can't watch what they're coming in contact with. Um, these toads will also really eat anything, so I would not recommend leaving out cat or dog food bowls outside for long periods of time. Um, and the other really important thing is just education. Growing up in North Florida, I had never heard of a bufo toad until I went to veterinary school. So um, any new residents to Florida, any new neighbors, any Especially new pet owners, animals. just inform them because it's a, it's a danger that is right outside their door. Okay, Dr. Miles Rowley from Stewart Sound Animal Hospital, thank you so much. Thank so you. important for anyone who has uh, those little uh, four-legged family members at home.